This week on The Climb, a conversation with SMU President Gerald Turner, a profile of senior linebacker Peter Fleps, a look at Aldrich Robinson's highlight reel, and the true meaning of stronger as one. Pete Fleps was a two-year starter at South Lake Carroll, where he helped the Dragons to a 33-1 record and a state championship. The Texas Sports Writers Association and Dave Campbell's Texas Football named him first team All-State. Don't step back, don't step back. There you go, oh! Uh, when I was in South Lake, we only lost one game for the three years that I, I played on varsity. Um, my senior year, we won the state. I came to SMU in spring of 2006. Um, so I've, I've experienced kind of the good, the bad, and the ugly of SMU. Going from you know winning 16 games straight and then coming to here and going 1-11 um, was, was hard. It was really hard. That stark contrast uh, really made me just appreciate the game more and more and really check my commitment level to it as well. Let's go, man. Let's go. He chose SMU over Baylor and the Naval Academy. I'm going here. Fleps redshirted as a freshman but starred in the classroom winning the Conference USA Academic Medal. The next season, Fleps earned his first letter, but the Mustangs went 1-11. and 11. Phil Bennett was fired and replaced by June Jones. Um, when Coach Jones came in, um, it was just a, such a, a thrill and kind of just a change of culture. When we started to win uh, my junior year, that's when we really um, just started to become really special and you know, playing for SMU just meant so much more and was just so much more memorable. Fleps is an Iron Man. He has played in 47 straight games. Not only is he one of the team stars, he is one of the leaders. He uh, leads by example. He practices hard, plays hard. He's, he's willing to do anything to sacrifice to, to, to win the game. He, he a just born champion. Uh, he just know how to win. He's a born leader. He's a good guy, hardworking, and just a great player. Great leader, a uh, natural born leader, actually. At that, at that, he does his job as well as anybody I know. So, very strong um, attitude. <laughs> That's what you need in a linebacker. He's really done a good job of bringing the younger kids around in the program by setting an example. This is how we do it. As a sophomore, Fleps led the Mustangs in tackles. As a junior, he was named Honorable Mention All-CUSA by the league's coaches. This year, he's continued his strong play, posting 52 solo tackles and 5.5 tackles for loss. Well, you got to be a player first, uh, and he makes plays. I love the physical part of the game. Um, it's a really intense, active, somewhat violent game. And then it's so involved in 11 guys working together, um, and you really can't have success without that happening. Fleps is president of SMU's chapter of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He was nominated for the 2010 All-State AFCA Good Works team. He's the embodiment of the true student athlete. I had a business, a uh, BBA in business management, um, and now I'm working on a master's. So I, I was able to achieve that in four years and being redshirted to have that extra year. And, uh, you know, I take my academics seriously because uh, you know, I can't play football forever. He's been named to the CUSA Commissioner's Honor Roll every year he's been at SMU. Just the value of a degree from SMU is so high. This is a program that, football program that's on the rise and the academic uh, side of SMU is one of the best in, in Texas and the nation. Uh, there's so much that SMU has to offer. Flips was named to the ESPN Academic All District 6 First Team and he's a semifinalist for the William V. Campbell Trophy, considered by many to be the academic Heisman. I mean, he, he gives everything he has when he practices and when he plays. And he's, he's a special, special player. He brings a toughness to the defense, a, a no-quit attitude, and uh, that's hard to replace. I've learned that uh, you, you've got to do it collectively rather than just trying to be an individual and you know, perform uh, you know, highly by yourself. Obviously you want to 
uh, perform at a high level and be a you know, very strong contributor to the team, but you've got to have other guys around you uh, doing the same thing. Otherwise, you, know, you won't be successful as a team. Still ahead, Aldrich Robinson's greatest hits. Aldrich Robinson is SMU's human highlight film. The 5'10", 178-pound philosophy major from Waxahachie averages almost 20 yards a catch and has found the end zone 10 times this season. Let's crank up the projector and take a look at some of Aldrich's greatest plays. The drone shotgun steps up, looks, backs out of the end zone. Touchdown! And play action. He's looking deep down the middle of the field. Aldrich Robinson! Touchdown, SMU! That man, it's a track meet, baby. Rose has Aldrich Robinson wide open! Touchdown, SMU! Left corner of the end zone, Aldrich Robinson. Thrown for the shotgun. Looking left. Firing that way, and oh, he got it over the defense to Aldrich Robinson at the 40. He breaks free. Aldrich to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 10. Touchdown, SMU. R. Gerald Turner has served as SMU's president since 1995 and has led the university through an era of unprecedented progress. We sat down with Dr. Turner to ask some questions, ranging from the state of the university to the proper role of athletics at SMU. Question one, tell us about SMU's recent surge in the collegiate rankings. Well, for the last 10 years, we've been working on uh, elevating the image of SMU around the country and uh, improving the academic quality of the institution in terms of student characteristics and faculty achievements. And the distribution of our students around the country has become wider. We have half our students from Texas and half from out of state. We've become a national university and the visibility of the institution certainly has increased as the quality has grown. Question two, how would you value an SMU degree? An SMU degree has immense value and uh, that's why a lot of people when they start uh, looking around, particularly if they're in competitive areas like in business law and things like that, try to see uh, the success of our graduates. And, uh, and I think what you find is the success of our graduates is very high. Question three, what is the ideal role of football at SMU? Uh, the lessons and the values of intercollegiate athletics, of teamwork, hard work, things like that, uh, are important. And they have to be underscored as, as sort of life principles and life lessons. Yeah because as I said, 95 to 98% of them are gonna make their careers in something other than athletics. And so you have to make sure that the two are together and certainly uh, uh, strong intercollegiate athletic programs help uh, get the visibility of the institution uh, out just by television or whatever else. But they certainly have to be kept in context that the purpose of the institution is academic. Question four. How would you assess the progress that June Jones has made? Well, I think June's made tremendous progress. I think uh, the whole change in attitude has been very important. The enthusiasm that alumni have for him, uh, not only because of what he brings to the program as, as a coach, a renowned coach, but once you get to know him as a human being, uh, he has a lot of the qualities that parents would want uh, their student athletes uh, to be under during their intercollegiate days. And so June is a real value added to the institution, both as a coach and as a human being. Question five, does SMU have a chance to become a football power again? Well, I think June brings to the program uh, the possibility that uh, we can be consistently top 25. I think he's a winner. I think he's a couple of recruiting years away from having the kind of depth you have to have to be the kind of perennial uh, 
strong team that you're talking about. And so I, th I have no doubt that uh, June will build that kind of consistent program here at SMU. He certainly got the started well. When we come back, a profile of offensive tackle Kelvin Beecham.